Hello everyone, and welcome to what may be our last episode of I Am Setsuna. Uh, so, last episode, or the last stream we had, we had, uh, we, we pretty much, uh, found out that Chuno over here is some, some, uh, Time Guardians clone or something. And then we came up here and this pretty much leads to the Dark Samsara, I think that's what it was called, um, which should be the final boss and has been oppressing the land. Um, with their, you know, being, it, it's got the power to destroy the world, so. Um, yeah, Schnoozy's gonna try to stop it because there's no um, other way around it. Let's do this, Tuna, let's do it. So here we go. Let's see how we go, and hopefully we don't get stuck on any of the any of the mechanics of the boss. I mean, hope. Uh, oh, I I did spend some time leveling up and preparing, so I've got some items and I've gained quite a few levels. So let's hope I'm I'm ready for it. That is a dark samsara. Hmm, he doesn't look as bad as I thought he would be. It's very snowy in here. What are all these things? There's the one over there that looks like a Loch Ness monster. Parts of the Dark Samsara. Plain old rocks. Now that power is being assimilated back into the being's core. Ain't we gonna do something about them? Shall we borrow monster? Okay, if we attack the Dax on Sarah, it may speed up the assimilation. If that happens, we will be at a severe disadvantage. Uh, okay, let's get rid of this thing and leave. Heroic music! I will... Dot, 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 dot. Our uh, Reaper friend isn't having uh, much confidence in what's going to happen to him after the battle. I am ready. Fishy beat. Okay. Uh, so, let's have a look around. Any hidden items or anything around you? Should I just go and fight the dude up there? Oh, oh. I think I activated. Oh, it's a mini boss. I guess. Let's fight this turtle guy. Ain't no coincidence this thing's the same, is <laughs> This thing's the same, it is a filthy damn monster. Look inside your heart to decide what you'd replicate, did you? I don't get what Breezy's talking about here. Nanase. I did battle in a blizzard with her on my back, and this thing was my opponent. Oh, Breezy's like, I've grown up, I can take you on now. Hmm, about that Bruzen. Well, I'm just gonna leave you out of the fight for now. Alright, uh, 3,000's not too bad. Smack. Let's see, let's see what it does. Actually, I should have checked if I could use, uh, healing items. Like, my cabins in here. But I don't think I'll be able to go out and save and replenish myself. Oh, I bought some food and I completely forgot to use it. Yes. The food would have given me um, damage up and stuff. That said, I haven't been struggling. I mean, it doesn't look too bad of a loss. Uh, I bought I bought that uh, health yes. HP material called uh, Sprit Knight. Sorry, I slipped into my Final Fantasy terminology there. Um, yes. 
So that, that's why they've got such inflated HP levels now. You can see um, Schnoozy sitting at 465 at the maximum. That said, these attacks still do quite a bit of damage, so if I'm not careful, they could kill me. There we go, get everyone safe. Damage adjustments. Cool. I mean, I feel like I should be blasting this with more damage, but I think it, I think we're, we've got a steady pace going on. HP is going down quite a bit just from attacks. Oh, the Schnoozy's sapping. She's being sapped. Oops, I forgot to add uh, momentum to her attack. That's what it's called. God, I haven't played this since Friday, and I've forgotten all the terminology. Let's see. I think it's almost dead. Uh, no. One more attack. 33. Yeah, Schneezy hit it. Okay. So yeah, so I'm level 51 now. I think on Friday I was 39 or something. I found a group of uh, enemies while well, I read up, and there was a group of enemies that gives about 5,000. Ooh, that destroyed one of his orbs. <gasps> That thing got the better of me last time. I've come a long way since then. What's wrong, Schnoozy? Just now you said the sacrifice's name was Nanase. Guess I never mentioned it. Nanase was my mother's sister. You don't know my mother as well, do you, Brisbane? <laughs> Stories out, Brisbane. Like you know my aunt. Oh, oh, she's being sapped. Okay, do I have anything to fix that? Uh huh. This one. Well, you can see I bought like a lot of re revival items. Uh, I've got this that re uh, restores the condition, um, and a lot of ethers because my MP is what's going to be suffering here. I'm gonna guess. As long as I've got MP, I can uh, restore their health pretty easily. That said, I can't... it doesn't seem I can use a cabin in here. Yeah, nope. Um, but I've got this food which boosts their physical attack power, so I'm going to use one of those for the next battle. And let's go look at this stone over here. I'm guessing this is a monster too. Is it another turtle? Is it a crab? What's going to be? Oh, not this guy. This was a guy that almost destroyed me, the... Um, Orion Tiger, or whatever it was called. It was the blood of the monster such as this that took that was inside my body. In order to see my kingdom restored, in order to live on, I broke even the gravest taboo. Taboo! Julam! Okay, let's go. No time for reminiscing, it's gonna attack us and kill us. You can overcome it. So there's four of these monsters, and each one seems to have a significance to each character, so far. The first one was Brisbane, and this one belongs to Julam. Oh, that, that's her down. That was a good start. Oh, let's resurrect her. Hell Rush. Additional what? Additional shadow elemental damage. Ah, it does nothing to reindeer. Reindeer is too tank for it. Let's heal everyone up full. Oh, actually, that heal is weaker than the maximum HP, so. Now it's not even a full heal anymore. Uh, should I use stop or should I just attack with flawless blows? I guess it's attack. Hell rush. More additional shadow damage. Oh, look at Reindeer go. It didn't even touch him. Oh, she might be dead again. Yep, put her down again. Maybe I'll leave her down and just focus on these two guys. I mean... There's no point in wasting my MP, and the battle might go faster if I just leave her dead. I can always heal her up after the battle anyway. Yeah. I've, I've got uh, Sprit Knight on Setsuna that pretty much makes her less likely to be targeted, so... 
That this. should mean that she won't get attacked as much, or that much if at all. Meaning I can just focus on healing. Reindeer, if he survives. My god, Snoozy is slow. Don't be so slow. Don't be so slow. Alright. Uh, yep, let's continue attacking. Uh, yeah, you, you, her curing needs to be done every turn, pretty much. Nice. Yes. This guy's not too bad. Should I try use some attacks on it? Maybe radiance. Let's see how much radiance. Is. Oh, that was a lot of damage. A lot of burst damage. Oh, oh, she's being attacked. That's one thing I didn't prepare for. Come on, attack Grandia. Good, I missed. Okay, now I've got this spell which uh, does damage and heals everyone. I think I used it last time, so. Uh -huh. 700 damage. Now they've got auto revive, so I don't need to worry about dying or getting hit. Oh my. Whew, this guy's on. I mean, he's, he keeps hitting hard, but he's not too bad. There we go, finish him off. Oh, I forgot I had even food for that battle. Ah, uh, flux bonuses. I still don't know what these do. Defense powers. Let's keep them on. Cutscene. Pop. He's just watching me pop up, like all of his balloons. I don't think he approves. You wouldn't have met us all. That's right, Julam. Can I can I cut across here? Yeah. Okay, let's fight the Loch Ness monster over here. I haven't really had to use any of the MP items yet. Let's have some food. Hello, Locky. Locky. Come on, wake up, Locky. It's time for your breakfast. It turned into a monster. Surprise, surprise. Stay strong. These things. Feed on weakness. Hey, this one's not uh, related to one. I mean, Juno seems to be talking a lot, but doesn't seem like anyone um, has any particular or it has any particular significance to anyone. Uh huh. Tidal wave. This is the one I fought on the boat at the very start of the game. Yes. Smack. Come on, Snooze. I'm just gonna go ham with my MP and probably restore it after the battle. Go ham. I don't understand that phrase. I mean, the first time I heard it, I, like, you know. I think it was in the League of Legends game. Somebody was referring to going ham, or somebody said, I'm gonna go ham. They went all out, and I'm like, oh, okay, so that's what it means to go ham. I still don't understand where it originates from, though. Perhaps I should look that up at some stage. Pop. Oh, it's dead. Well, it's a good thing I leveled up. These enemies don't seem to be too hard. Then again, they are, I guess they are pre-boss battles, so uh, I don't want to make them too difficult. Let's hope this guy doesn't wreck me completely. Together, with nothing to fear. I understand that you only wish to raise our spirits, but we must remain vigilant. She is correct. Oh, okay. poor Kerr. Try to be positive, but... You know, 
Gotta be realistic here. Uh, should we attempt it? Yeah, we'll attempt it with that current MP. Hopefully we won't need too much for this one. What is this? It looks like... Oh, it's a bird. I was gonna say it looks like a tree or something. This is, this is... Dot, 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 dot. Is it related to Kerr? That's Kerr not? Uh huh. this one belongs to Kerr. The same one that attacked my village a long time ago. My brother protected me and ended up getting seriously wounded. I've never forgotten it. So the Loch Ness Monster really was the odd one out out of these four. Okay, let's see. Again, we'll just smash it with these things. Oh, I forgot to eat food. Oh. That means this will take a little longer, but that's okay. Smash. Maybe I'll keep it for a while. Oh no, it's got its attack up. What are we gonna do? We don't have Kurt to debuff it. Let's be vigilant and make sure it doesn't try and kill everyone. Oh, that's not too bad. I think it attacks fairly slow, so that's okay. It's a flying burby with no eyes. It's got a weird mouth though, look at that, that's freaky. It's got like a jaw under its beak. Reindeer is like completely unaffected by that. Even though he took damage, but... He sounds like he doesn't even care. Show a luminous? A luminous. Oops, I didn't hit it right. Oh, I didn't get the momentum bonus. Maybe next time. I this Burby doesn't do anything. It's almost dead too. Come on, Burby. I'll kill you off and eat your meat like a chicken. Chicken boss. Uh, I think Snoozy can finish it off. Add a status boost. Pop. Yay! It's dead, it blew up. Zero. I like how you can target it, even though it's dead. It's like, just to confirm, it has zero health. Pop. Oh, the last balloon's gone. Well done, Kerr. Kerr seems like a cool character. I do like the characters in this game very much. They each have their own quirks and uh, personalities and pasts. Okay, you think we can take him on now? Let's heal ourselves up first. Mid ether. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Uh, oh, let's eat some food. Let's not forget to eat our delicious food. I can't save my game. Alright, here we go. Fighting the Dark Samsara. <laughs> think it over. Oh, you literally walk up to him and just like, oh, I'm gonna think about fighting. He really doesn't care, does he? Oh, they walk all the way to the front if they're behind him. I was curious if they would. Alright, let's fight you. Dark Samsara. Little jelly bean in your belly. That's strange, my body won't stop shaking. I too. The sheer scale of his magical energy. Alright, alright. Yeah. Uh, well, inspirational... Uh, um, don't give up hope. I want to change the future, everyone's future, and my future. There's still so many things that I want to do. Alright, alright, no need to have a big speech before. Oh, Fishy Beat's got like some backstory kind of. 
the reason behind his tears. I wonder why he was a slave to the Dark Sansara. Alright, let's see. Time to finally put an end to this nightmare. Let's give this battle everything we've got. Oh, that's Bruce, man. Everyone's just like, we can do this, and they're not even here. I cannot die here. Ooh, that's a potent reach at 171. 6,000 health. Yeah. I mean, we've got no reason to, uh... Let's see if it's stop works on it. I brought stop just in case. I don't think that worked. Nope. Okay, that was a waste. Let's just smash it for now. Smash it in a careful way. By, by smash it, I mean carefully. <laughs> Uh, let's, let's inspire. Oh, I want to have an extended inspire, so I'll, I'll hold out for a bit. Though, so, reindeer's auto attacks are doing as much as its regen is, so you shouldn't have too much of a problem. Mighty fist. Okay, let's, uh, let's inspire them. That was the wrong woman to use. There we go. Ooh, ooh, that happened. What was that? Cancel status boost on reindeer. Oh, that's annoying. Never mind. I'll just use uh, Tuna, who's my main damage dealer anyway. See, look at that. Look at that power. Bam, 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 bam. Good job, reindeer. Smash. Uh, I'll, I'll let her wait a bit. Oh yeah, she's getting low now, but she's got her Lumia thingy up, so let's use that. And get that auto revive on everyone. That way we won't die. Phew, I think we're doing well. I think that uh, leveling up really paid off, because at level 39 or whatever I was, I don't think I'd be able to do this. I was struggling with some of the other bosses. I had 300 HP back then. So imagine that, like, his attacks would be killing, like, doing half on my health. Then space, what does that do? Ooh. I still got auto revive up, so that's fine. Uh, I'm guessing their attack bonus fell, well, I know rangers did. Tuna's doing alright though. Bash. A hundred damage per attack, that's pretty good, Tuna. I'm really proud of her. She's such a good character. I have no regrets, like, with this party setup. I mean, Kerr and Julam and Ruzi are all really great characters. But I don't know if they fit with my team here. I like having a speed advantage, and uh, I think Tuna gives me that. I don't know what Reindeer really adds to the party, but, you know, he's, uh, he's having fun. Having a good time. Okay, 2,000 health. Not too bad. We're almost there. Yes. Time slip. Cancel status boost. Okay, that... That really doesn't do too much. He's attacking pretty slowly. Maybe it's just because I've got that speed advantage, but... This isn't too bad. I've, I've got control of the situation so far. I won't go completely out, all out, because I won't go completely ham, as they say. Just in case there's a uh, second part to this battle. As it would be traditional for uh, Square Enix games to do. Or, or especially in this um, old style JRPG sort of sense. Having the four guardians to him reminds me a bit of. Um, when I played Okami, and at the end there's a small level that requires you to kind of go back and fight previous bosses again. Um, so, I don't know how, like, where I was going with that. I think it was the fact that it's also another mechanic, rather than having multiple bosses, you have um, sort of guardians to the last boss. 
Which maybe that's what this game has done. Oh, that hurt her a lot. Yeah, um, um, uh, she's got the order of revive, right? Yeah. So yeah. if she gets hit, it'll be fine. Come on, Snooze. Oh, that wasn't Snoozy. Well, we're, we're done. Oh, she's dead. Order revive? Yeah, it worked. See? And going up into a pink fog. Stinky pink fog. Okay. Da, 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 da. Victory music. That was that was was that it? What's wrong, Snoozy? You should be happy. <gasps> Secrets are gonna be revealed. Some as, as if something was reaching out to me. It was like a feeling of intense rage and and of intense sorrow. They were definitely human emotions. <gasps> Tuna, are you hiding something? All humans possess powerful magical energy. At some point, their magical energy started to decline, and eventually it was almost gone completely. Oh, so this is a creation of the Dark Samsara, I'm guessing. Most of them come from nothing. One kingdom produced striking results. It was a kingdom that once stood here, the kingdom of Julam's ancestors. What? A little too brilliant and they went too far and they come up with a horrific way of maintaining a supply of magical energy and the method of extracting it from living beings. As a result, most beings were possessed magical energies were used in experiments. Great. <laughs> Great story, Gina. Innocent youth possessed immense magical energy arrived in a royal capital. Oh, was that the guardian lady? Oh no, he was a he, never mind. He volunteered to help out with their research in order to save the world from its predicament. <gasps> was it was it Fishy Breath? Uh, Fishy Beat, whatever his name was. Over and over again, but his, then his magical energy became uh, began to amplify indefinitely, and quickly spiraled out of co their control, unable to contain his this vast rampaging magical energy. The youth was destroyed. He became a mass of ever-growing energy. Okay. We want to say energy any more times? The sorrow I felt came from my master's human feelings of sorrow. Or maybe Fishy Beat is like his brother or something? The kingdom was destroyed but the entire world narrowly avoided complete ruin. As a result though, the time judge became unable to move from here. So in order to maintain her life force and magical energy, she asked for sacrifices? That's right, it was a tough decision to make. And at the start of this game, I promise not to read all this out, but this is pretty important, like, plot here. In order to keep the ki uh, the creature, not the kitchen, I don't know why I went to say kitchen, uh, sealed away the and protect the world, she had no choice. But was, uh, there was no other way. So, the root of all this was greed of humans, desperate to regain their magical energy. Alright, alright. Humanity suffered. You continue to play out the past over and over again. What foolishness! What's complete and utter foolishness! It's okay, Julam, relax. We, we finished it. It's, it's over now. Yeah, like, cursed. Kerr knows what's going on. Ooh, okay, maybe not. Uh-oh. -uh. Uh-oh. -uh. What's this? It's purple and it's blue and it's yellow and it's green. That light just now was that. So the Dark Samsara is still alive. <gasps> I cannot. You're not going to sense it, no matter how hard you try. Did I jump to conclusions? Do you think this isn't the end, guys? And surely there is no problem. There's a big problem. To escape to the past. Oh, we're gonna have to go to the past? To avoid the effects of time being wound back over and over again. It learned. It evolved. Oh god, what's going on anymore? The space-time spirit knight disappeared along with the time judge. There's no way to go back to the past. This is the end. It's starting to collapse. With the Dark Samsara gone, this space is vanishing. Hmm. Interesting.
interesting. Interesting. Is this a situ is this like an ending where I don't actually have to fight or maybe this will resolve itself somehow without me needing to fight anyone. Oh, I can move around. I was not aware of this. Hey, Julian, what's up? So now the world shall fall into eternal darkness. Always positive, Julian. That's what I like about you. What do you want to say? I can sense that disaster has begun. What about you, Kerr? Travelling across time? Looks like we're out of options. Bruzy, my man. What's up, my man? How do we go wrong? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's bound to happen eventually. This is the worst possible outcome. The end has begun. What's this green light here, guys? Everyone's kind of just ignoring it. Schnooze, you know what's up with this. I'll see you there safely. I haven't forgotten. This isn't the time. Oh, okay. Okay, wow, she just... It's like the first mean thing she said all game. She just nod me off right directly. Powerful or highly emotional charged magic is said to leave behind a trail in space time. Time being repeatedly wound back must have left behind a very powerful trail of magical energy. Can't we follow it as well then? No, not just anyone can sense it. No, Bruzman, you're wrong. Reindeer, can you see them? Yes. You see, talking about the like purpley green lines everywhere. Rings of light. You can see the trail of magical energy. Oh, it's me and Schnooze that are gonna go back to the past. They're a record of all our journeys together. Oh, so it's like the safe points. Uh, we failed a lot. I mean, we failed when we fought that big lamb thing, and then we, you know, we got stuck a few times. We died a few times. I don't know if all these brings out a light. I mean, that was just a safe point, right? So you and Re Reindeer have been able to see all this time. Maybe you two really will be able to follow after him. The trail is a record of the magic used. Okay. I'll send you back in time. Do it, Tuna! Will you come with me? Oh, it doesn't look like I've got a choice. I was planning on going alone. I'm going to do the same for you until the very last moment. Alright, Schnoozy, suit yourself. But if you die, it's not my responsibility. We need to hurry before all hope disappears. Chill Tuna. Alright, alright. Stop talking about what you're going to do and what you're not going to do and just do it. Oh, here we go. Everyone's like, bye. Oh, she punched me with with her shiny fist. And now I'm glowing. Please go. Ooh. Such sentimental words, Fishy. Go to him. Why do they make us glow like that? Are they imparting their magic onto us? I guess... I guess that's how it works. And we're gonna send Reindeer and Snoozy into the past. Bruzy. My man. Take care of Snooze. Don't you have something you want to tell her before we go? Bruzy? Bruzy? No? Okay. Never mind then. I am proud to have spent my final journey together with the two of you. Wait, Tuna's not going to die, is she? That's not the result of this, is it? Can't be the end for Tuna. She can stay around. Don't, I 
Okay, where are we? We're on a bridge. Hey. This is Nive Island, I guess. That was the place we started. Hey, what up? You weren't on that last ship, were you? Uh, I mean, we could have been. We just snuck off. Or oh, we swam here. Nothing up here. Anyone in this house? Hey, what's up, dude? We're still getting ready to open it. We only just rented this place. Okay. Anything else? Oh. He's making food or something. There's a pot boiling. It's got a lot of sacks of flour, though. But I guess he's getting ready to open, so we shouldn't disturb him. Hey, kid, what's up? Do you want to get to the village? After you leave the port, just head northwest. Hey! That kid has literally not changed what they say for the last whatever amount of years. Oh. I wonder if we'll see Setsuna's mother here and get to interact with her. Can I save my game out here? Nope, can't save. Ra raisin. Oh, it's her dad. Oh, wait. I forgot this guy was her dad. Wait, but if Bruceman's her dad, then who is this guy? Wow, okay. Uh, hmm. So many outsiders. I saw a figure by the falling snow monument earlier, you see. Well, is that the one at the at the back of the where I found Snoozy? I don't remember. Uh oh, okay. Wait, what that was are they talking about Snoozy's mum? Or her daughter's sake too. A poor girl having her mom leave. Oh, can we find baby Snoozy around here? Baby schnoozy, are your baby schnooze? Oh, uh, this, this is pretty much like <laughs> this is my experience with um, Nive Village. Every single time, looking for schnoozy. Are you the sacrifice? Are you the sacrifice? Hmm. Surely schnoozy would know where she's hanging out. In this house? Yeah, we have to send out sacrifices we have no other choice. What else can we do? Good thing we're making the most of our time in the past. Today is a day of celebration! The sacrifice has departed. Whoa, you look like a grandma. Oh, it's, that's your hat, I guess. I was gonna say, you're talking about a grandma and you look like one. But it's just your silly hat, your silly goose. Okay, I think we can't find little schnoozy here. We can find raisin. I've been entrusted with an important task. It's to adopt schnooze and take care of her, right? Cause her drunken father left her. Although I don't know if actually Bruceman drinks, but I'm sure he would. Are there penguins here still? Pew, 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 pew. Oh, I guess there's no items to find, so I don't really need to explore too much. There's shrubs. I don't think they give anything, but there's a lot of shrubs. Oops. Good coordination there, reindeer. Just walk into the thing. To the uh, bush, to the rock, to the edges. All right. Hey, the falling snow monument. Here we go. Who are we gonna find here? <gasps> it's a glowy alien. Hello, from Bayo. 
That's a strange achievement. I'm guessing it's meant to say beyond. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Have you returned to your human form? Human. Human form? Your emotions were channeled into someone else and he cried. So why? Why can't you remember those feelings? Cried? Keep talking to him. You can do it, Snooze. Maybe. Just maybe. I cried. I cried. Help, help. Help, stop. It's gonna break out into music. Cried with anger. Cried with hatred. I will. I will. Yes? Never forgive. Humans. Oh. Well, Oh, oh, he's killing Snooze. Um. <laughs> it's very faint, but I can sense his soul. Do you still think we won't be able to understand each other? Reindeer? Oh, it's, it's me versus this guy. Oh, he's got a creepy alien voice. 300 HP. Hey, it tickles. He tickles. He doesn't do anything. Come on. Smash. Maybe I wasn't supposed to kill him. I mean, I didn't kill him, right? I just knocked him out. Stay back, snooze. Don't worry. It's all right. It's all right. Whoa. It's in her now. I don't think we saw that coming. Were well, you planning this all along? I'm sorry for not saying anything. I want to be close to him. I want to make up for all the time he's lost. He must have been so lonely all along like that. Um, uh, I don't know if I feel the same way about you, Snoozy. You have an alien thing in you that just tried to kill me. Please, destroy my body. I shall fulfill my final duty as sacrifice. I'm glad I met you. <gasps> no, Snooze. No. Oh, I don't like this decision. I mean, is, is, is this the one decision I have control over? Why do I have to kill her? That's, no, that's not. Oh, is that how it ends? Is it? Thank you. Then I make the wrong choice. I don't know. stuff is happening. Who's this guy? What's wrong, Cap? Oh, it's Freya. I bet most people haven't noticed the thing. Bruiseman and the others, they did it. Is this back in the future? I guess it is. They're talking, but I... Why are they laughing? Don't laugh! Some serious stuff is happening! Oh man, this music... It's giving me the feels! Oh no, what's happening to Tuna? <gasps> no, not Tuna too! Oh... So everyone I fought with actually just ended up not being there anymore. This is depressing. Don't cry, Kurt. Don't cry. Is 
you to land back in command now? Meanwhile, I've forgotten what the person at the start who told me to assassinate Setsuna looked like. Maybe that's what I didn't pick up on. Maybe I was supposed to swing my sword? I don't know. Uh oh, here we go. Father to father, like, conversations about who's the real father. <gasps> I wish we could know what dialogue that, you know. I mean, we can kind of assume what's going on. They're giving the news about, like, what happened to Tuna and stuff. And he's asking about the village if it's been attacked. Oh no, he's not. He's asking about his brothers. Never mind. Exclamation mark. And now they're all laughing and having fun. This was the world we sacrificed our lives for. And this dude. Why are there still monsters? Hello, Scythe Man. Smash. Whoosh. Is he making friends now? Is Akash his new, like, bestie? Exclamation mark. Hand gesturing. Well, it's good to see that, uh, Scythe Mac G actually ended up moving on to through the world. <gasps> Here's the reindeer. Whoa. And that's it. We are done. Oh, I'm really curious to know if we, uh... If we chose the right ending, though. I'm gonna have to look it up now. Well, that concludes our I Am Setsuna playthrough. Uh, thank you everyone who's been watching the series. I hope you enjoyed the story and the game as much as I did. Um, and I would definitely recommend people to pick it up. I definitely had fun with it. Um, if you do like the RPG genre, uh, and especially this old style JRPG uh, format, sorry, I'm really distracted by the names and the music here, <laughs> and I still feel so emotional over news. Uh, but yeah, I would recommend anyone to pick it up. It's a great game. Um, I personally, like, as I said, I've, I've enjoyed it. Um, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of side quests and things I didn't do in this playthrough that I'm sure some people would be interested to learn more about the characters. Um, I only got to level 51, so imagine the possibilities of overpoweredness you could obtain with other like with other grinding and other items and magics and things. But that concludes for us. Uh, thanks again for watching the series. Like, subscribe to the channel. Gonna end my stream there for tonight with the credits. Uh, enjoy them, and I'll see you tomorrow night for another playthrough of a game which has been undecided. I'll decide at some stage. But wait, there's more! Okay, let's see what's going on here. He's walking to a tree. 
and there's some sort of building in the background. Is this just like a random additional scene that doesn't add anything to the story? Hmm. I know that tree is a uh, significant of something, but I can't think of it at the moment. And that looks like some ruins in the background. <gasps> there's a light. There's a light. Hey, it's Setsuna. <gasps> She's there. Do you think she returned? Sure. Let's save our game. Thank you.